Okay, so we're back. Uh, finally unfroze. So um, we're gonna um, continue continue building this colorless uh, ingest deck, blue red. Um, kind of narrowed it down from all the other colors and stuff. We might go back and make the other colors also. Um, just compare. But for right now, just the blue red. So, um, let's see. We left off trying to cut the um, counter spells here. So we have too many counter spells. I think we cut three. So, we have, oh, here we go. So we, we're cutting these ones. So that would take out three. Let's just go down to nine other cards and forty-five normal cards. Save. Okay. So that'll be good. Um, so we still need to cut down on the threes, which is probably too high. We we'll probably want around ten. Um. Probably don't need the um, the fighting spell. Let's just take this out. I think it's probably too slow. I like it. It's an interesting card, but it's just uh, just not what we want to be doing. So let's take it out. Take it out. We got four, four. Almost there. We got nine or ten more cards to go. I think probably nine. I don't see us needing that many wins. Um, plus we've got the, uh, a few ramper guys. This guy ramps, that guy ramps. So, uh, maybe we don't need that many. Okay, so let's see, we need to take out ten more cards. Nine more cards. So, let's see. I'll aggregate the number of colors creatures you control. It's good in multiples, I like it. Um, Sky Spawner, maybe not the best. It's kind of boring. Probably just take them all out. Or Herald. Donation Guide does. Let's see. This is a little stronger just for evasion. Um, this is good just for ramping into some other stuff, but it doesn't work that well with most things. Colorless spells, so that includes includes horribly awry, which is cool. The processor result, which is also cool, and this. So I mean, it'll make all of our stuff cost less, which is pretty awesome. I think it's gonna stay. I think it's gonna stay in here. Okay, so Ruination Guide, um, pretty good in multiples, you're going to get a lot of damage through with the Thopters, I think we're going to cut Thopter Spy Network, just because we don't have like a huge amount of artifacts, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that's it, oh and these, 11, so I mean it's probably going to trigger. Probably gonna get you artifact adopters. Um, but I feel like we probably have enough. I don't know, I like the card. But hmm. Maybe just take out the salvage drone and not even worry about going aggro. I think we do that. Because I don't like this card that much. Just, but, you know. I think we're more of a uh, mid range kind of deck where you kind of make lots of creatures that are going to get around there, guys. And some tempo, so to get two, so we're at 42. Okay. So we have seven more to go. Seven more. Okay, Cosmic Sentinel, not the best. Um, 
It's only probably going to get pumped a few times. Maybe it'll get up to a three. Which is okay. Um, compared to Hammer Whack Walker and Mist Intruder, though, probably not better. Probably much worse than those. So let's take out those. I don't think we need them. That's three. <clears throat> so we're down to four of them. Which, um, kind of doesn't work great with the curve, but pretty neat. I'm probably going to play some, uh, play some stuff on the first few turns anyways from our other stuff. Um, like the horribly awry. This thing isn't going to do anything until a bit later, but... Yeah. Um, maybe we want two reality shifts. Let's do two reality shifts and three process results. Or actually three, four, blue, nine. No, I think I'll do it a little bit. Let's do three. That. Okay, so three more cards here. Um. We have so many three drops. We need to get rid of some three drops. Pretty bad. Let's see. This is more. Okay, so we got two kind of things going on. We got this guy gets bigger for everything else, so it's a little more vulnerable than Ruination Guide, where this pumps everything else. So you don't have, like, you know, the issue of this dying and everything else is weak. It's like, if this dies, it, it does get rid of the power boost, but... Well, I don't know. I don't know if we want to spread the power out or if we want to concentrate the power. I think it's probably going to be concentrated because we've got uh, the Ghost Fire Blades. So the other guys are just going to be kind of pumping. So let's, uh, I don't think he's that strong, so let's take out a couple. Let's go with two of those instead. Down to 11. And 36. Almost there. One more. One more card's gotta go. I think we're gonna take out a hanger backwalker. Or a mist intruder. Probably hanger backwalker. I guess we can't afford them. As if I'm actually gonna build this deck. Anyway. Anyways. So let's see, we got that. So now we're down to 35. So exactly where we wanna be. Okay. Looks pretty good. I like it. Um, got some tempo going on, instant spells, got some counter spells, we got some pro like processing cards that are really good, um, that work well with our, uh, you know, bio aggregate with our mist intruder, ruination guide, they work well with uh, our, like, kill spells, the, the XL guys, horribly awry XLs guys. Um, I think that's enough in jest. This intruder's probably going to be like the main source of ingest. I wish there was more ingest flyers. Okay. So, this is one direction to take the deck. Um, let's save that. And I like it, it just feels a little bit hard to get ingest. I don't know how often we'll be hitting them with the uh, ingest stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Seems good. Let's uh, take these and take these. Why are they doing that? <laughs> okay, just cut them. Put them at the end. We can analyze our full deck here. Okay. 
So the next step is to um, play test. So we're going to put this onto tapped out and uh, do some just normal test draws just to see how it, how it runs. Um, I'm just gonna put what I, what I usually do is I usually put just like islands and just pretend they're any color, and that kind of gives you an idea how how um, how the deck's gonna run um, at its best. And then uh, you can put in all the other lands later <laughs> just to figure out you know, and that's the you know that's the boring part is finding all the lands, but in a two color deck I, I doubt the lands are any part problem so. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna put that on there, um, and make a, make a new video, and, uh, continue on that one. So, yeah, this is our deck, uh, we've got some pretty sweet, uh, powerful cards that are gonna do a lot of damage, so we got Vile Aggregate, it's gonna be our, a huge beef, uh, we got, uh, Ruination Guide is gonna is gonna make all our flyers and guys bigger. Hangerback Walker is just gonna make lots of flyers again um, to pump file aggregate to get bigger with Ruination Guide. Um, it's going to uh, create thopters that can trigger uh, the spy network, which is pretty sweet. Um, we've got uh, Herald of Kozilek, which is pretty cool. It makes all of our things cost less, almost all of them, except these two things. Um, so we've got like, Ghost Fire Blades are going to be free, Ghost of are going to be one, this be one, this is going to be four, so you can play that right after. Um, Explosion is going to be three, Reality Shift, no, that's not cost, that's going to be the only thing that isn't. So yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty cool when you ramp. Um, it's a pretty big um, toughness creature, so it's a good blocker. Um, we've got some sweet, like, little um, tempo-y cards that are going to be, like, cheap disruption. Horribly awry, processor assault, brutal explosion is going to do a lot to get us ahead. Reality shift uh, is going to deal with those pesky uh, creatures that you can't really deal with. Um, and you can even X all your own creature and manifest if you really want to. Um, it is colorless, so that's cool. Um, Ghostfire Blade is like one of the biggest cards in this deck because it's, uh, you know, equips everything and makes them bigger and just, you know, makes it relentless because you just got three threes so often. And it's, gonna, it's just going to push damage through very well and be very hard to deal with, so that's cool. The Thopter Spy Network, it just gets ridiculous. Um, Blight Herder, we have four of them, because uh, we're based on Ingest, so we've got uh, quite a bit of Ingest. we got uh, this guy is Ingest, it's four of them. This guy is Ingest, this guy is Ingest. we got four of those, so we're probably going to be hitting him with Ingest quite a bit. And uh, Blight Herder is like our top end, that's going to just make everything pretty crazy, so that's good. And Processor Assault is also going to work off all our ingest if we want to use those. And then, yeah, just got the disruption and um, good stuff. Uh, I think it's going to be strong. So uh, you can see our next video where we're going to um, basically just goldfish. We're just going to you know, do test draws and test playing, see how it turns out. Um, yeah. Yeah.